slurpy diddle all the way down from Santorini. I've got a wonderful mecha funk, neuro funk, heavy metal, heavy neuro metal funk mecha bass for you today, my G's. Hope you enjoy it. So what I've done is I've made it in vital. I've bounced it out and I've layered it up and I've used Beam to layer up uh, a bit of juicy textural goodness on it. Let's start off with the uh, the wonderful Mecha bass as it is from the beginning in Vital and I have not prepared for the video again. Damn you artifacts. All right, that's not on. Okay, so we start with the water razor. And we've just got one LFO, and it's the trance gate, which I've modulated and cha I've changed it around. I've slowed it right down. Doom, wom, wom. I've just drawn in my wubs like that. Uh, so the water razor, minus 26 on the fine tuning. Uh, that's pretty much, uh, we, it's moving on the LFO a bit as well. Okay, but this is going to be turned off. And it's going to be FM'd in from, uh, into, into oscillator 2. And oscillator two is just a saw wave. And let's turn that up. Bit of movement on the FM going the other way. And as you saw there, I had another button on there. I had, uh, this is the um, uh, high pass, I think it was, right? So put the high pass on there, and then we're gonna turn that down again. And now this is gonna go FMing into the third one here, which is the, a sine wave. And so the FM is all the way off and it goes all the way up on the LFO, as you see here. And uh, yeah, the levels of the first two are off, bear in mind. So that's what you've got so far. I'm going to add a bit of white noise into the LFO as well on the level. Just a little bit. Then we're going to filter our final our oscillator three here with a phaser positive filter with the resonance all the way down. And that's just tracked to go up a little bit on the cutoff. Okay, now the sound is still quite aggressive in the high end, so we're going to soften that uh, in a moment. But first, I'm going to distort it quite a lot, about 6 dB. I'm going to chorus it up a fair amount, about 40%. And this LFO is bringing it back, so it's actually going to get a bit... Um, it's going to start off tight at the top, and then it's going to become more chorused as it goes down. Okay, it's getting quite mental. Now all of these massive harmonics in the high end are going to be controlled with a nice low-pass filter on everything here. Uh, turning the mix up and the drive up and modulating the cutoff. Now we've lost almost too much high end, so this is where I use the colouring compressor to bring some back in. Just default settings, attack up a bit, release down a bit, and mix 100% oh, from zero on the LFO. I've added a couple of short little tails with the delay and the reverb. Make it a bit longer, and then there you have the mecha bass as it is on its own in Vital, which sounds like this in the beat. But I thought I'd layer it up and make it a bit more more intense by using the beam. So I bounced out one version of the sound which has nothing on. It's just a classic Vital sound, and then I bounced out another version of the sound. Uh, with beam on and I used uh, one of the coolest presets I've found so far which is called metallics and I've basically just used that uh, preset on its own turned up the mix 100% and um, yeah that sounds like this Obviously. yeah it gives it a really nice sort of convolution so uh, when that's been bounced out down here I've just e edited a bit to edited it a bit to fit with the original taking out some low end uh, shaped the transient to make it less aggressive at the start, taken out a little bit more low end, and then added on a touch of reverb just in the high end. So it's sort of a nice convolution layer with some texture to go with the original. Makes it sound much larger than life. I'll drop the vital preset on my next Pocket Rockets next month. I hope you G's have an amazing day. My G's have an amazing day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.